Hi, Mom. I'm hoping that I'm not making your life more difficult instead of less difficult. But if you can get your head around this program, I think it's going to make life a lot、uh, simpler. So, this is the program called Joplin. If you double click on that, give it a second to open. All right, so what I've created on the left hand side, you see Mom's to do list, Mom's calendar. You get a couple of calendar entries that I saw you had open, and I copied them over here. Uh, miscellaneous notes that you might have to yourself, and here's three notes that I saw. Okay. Names and addresses of family. Well, I don't have them all, but I went ahead and laid them out here. If you click on one of them, like I'll click on J, you see my address shows up on the right hand side. If I want to add something to that, I can add my phone number. Okay. And、uh, then you can click any one of these other ones. And fill them in over here on the right whenever you want to. But there's, you can see what I changed was already saved. I didn't even have to hit the save button, it was done automatically. Now, your to do list, there are not, there's nothing in here right now. You can click on one of these icons to create a new note or to do. A to do, I'll just type in. Something to do, okay, as a title, and then I can type in a description down below. That's all.、Um, then I can type another to do, and I can type something down here. Now, if then move on to something else, and then I can come back up here to the to do's. And once I've already done them, if I want to, I can hit the check mark and it'll make it go down to the bottom and put a line through it automatically. Uh, and then at some point, if I want to delete that, I can right click and choose delete, and that'll make that to, to, to do go away. Now, I don't have to use check boxes and to do's. I'm going to delete this other one. I could also just use notes. Maybe notes are what you're going to use most of the time. So you choose new note, and you give your note a title some new note. And something about that note. Okay. And then again, you can go on to other things when you want to. You can look at your to do list and you can see that you made a note. And then underneath, you've written some text about that note. Okay. And you can see at the top, you've got bold and italic. And some things of that nature so that you can、uh, change the way it looks a little bit. I don't think this program gives you color changes. No, it doesn't.、Uh, it's a note keeping software. That's its main purpose. So there are no colors, it's all black and white text. Now, I've got、uh, your calendar. I created a list called Calendar. It's just like all the others,、um, except it's, you know, I've split it off so it makes a little bit more sense. Now, we add, I added in、uh, January and I gave it the name, you know, the address and the appointment. You can also set an alarm. You see this little bell up here called an alarm? You can click on that and set the date that the alarm will go off, the date and the time, which is currently January 19th at 7 a.m. So I've set that for you. You don't have to have an alarm, but if you want one, it's there. Okay, this one doesn't have an alarm, this one does. Now, there is one gotcha, I suppose,、uh, that I want to make you aware of. And this,、uh, when you're looking at a note, you see these little icons that have a pencil and it has a letter M.、Um, you don't ever really want to change that. If you switch to the letter M, that's what they call the markdown mode. And it's really for programmers or, or people that, are,、uh, that, that this software is integrating with some other software. And it shows you behind the scenes what different symbols mean. You just never want to go there. So leave the pencil checked. That's going to give you what's called the what you see is what you get mode. It doesn't show you code. It's the, it's the world you def, definitely want to live in. It's the world I definitely want to live in when it comes to using this software. Just, it's, just, it's made for a couple of different types of、um, you know, 
workers in their situations, um, but by far the majority of the people that I'm going to prescribe this for are the people that need it for the same reason that you would, that I would, um, and they just want to see everything in its uh, final form without regard to what's happening behind the scenes. So if you click italic, you'll just click that I, it'll do that, but if you edit on markdown mode, it would show you what's happening behind the scenes. It's of no value. And uh, that's it. And I saw names and addresses of maybe something relating to Grace Church. You started off with Sandy Ta Cindy Taylor and Fred, so I added one for them. And again, I use the notes. The check boxes you don't need because they just put a box in there that you've got to check or uncheck. I think it might be more friendly just to leave in the, uh, just the note. So that's up to you, though, which way you want to do that. And that is it. And so when you're done... You can close it, and it all goes away. It's very organized, but it's something else to learn. I hope it helps. I love you, Mom. Bye-bye.